All right. Well, look, let's pretend we can always cut that off the front. Um, um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, episode 453. Uh, each week we gather here to review the questions and the answers given um, on the Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. With us uh, today, we have Tim Capper. Tim is a Google product expert. He's based in Corby, about 100 miles north of London. You can find Tim at onlineownership.com. And you can find Masataki Wasa at wasaweb.net. Wasaweb.net is based in London. Um, he uh, uh, is a Google product expert on the AdSense community. All right, our first question is from Steve Brown. Uh, Steve um, asked the question titled Roundup Review Posts. He said, Hi, all. I've taken over a website that contains several Roundup Review Posts, so the 10, 10 best XX for XX. However, the previous owner has taken each individual mini review and published them again in separate posts as individual reviews. Uh, should I delete these and will leaving them there harm my search engine optimization? Uh, appreciate any advice. Uh, so sometimes they, those are used for widgets that pull through and display on pages. So firstly, double check them. But I agree that they don't really add any value because it's just smaller little review, taking up an entire URL, uh, a new URL, and multiple of these is just thin crap. But it's just no index them. Just no index them and move on. Uh, if they are literally not doing anything and you never want to show those reviews or they're not being used to pull through to anything or any widget on any particular page, well, then just delete them. But um, yeah, but sometimes owners like those. So just double check because sometimes owners like those. They like seeing them. They like being able to click through to them. It's like, you know, so just double check first. But you can just no index them. Thank you, Tim. Okay, let's um, go to the next. Steve Brown asks the question, is this normal? Is what normal? Um, Hi all. I recently published new content to my site and submitted to the Google Search Console for indexing. The next day it comes up as indexing, as indexed, I should say, and shows on the search engine results page when I do a, 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 a site um, operator query um, for, for keywords. Um, a search for the article and it's all good. But when I check again a few days later, using the same method, it's gone from the search into results page. But it still says indexed in Google Search Console. Uh, is this normal? Should I just wait for it to come back or should I be concerned and take some kind of action? Thank you for any replies. So do a site query on the full URL. Don't do a site query on domain and then X, Y, Z keywords. If you do a site query on that full actual URL and it's completely gone, then there is an issue. If it was there before and now it's gone, don't search for the keywords because the site query operator within keywords sometimes won't service it. Um, yeah. It, it, yeah, I mean, I don't know why if it did the day before and now it's not surfacing it then. But check for the whole URL, the full URL, do the site query for the full URL. Um, and if it's still there, it's still there. You know, Google's just, you know, doing its thing with algorithms. But if it's completely gone, then there's an issue, yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Okay, let's go number three on our run list. Um, Sherelle Davis asked the question, how did you divide the accounts? Um, 
Sherelle said, hi all, I'm looking for recommendations on managing a rapidly growing Google Search Console account. We are close to the limit and it looks like there's no way of increasing this limit with one account. I'm looking for ideas from anyone who's had experience in this. How did you divide the accounts? Are there any tools that can help out or will this be a painful manual process? Any insights would be greatly appreciated. Google they've, search they've hit the limit on Google Search Console. It uh, seems that way. Uh, um, well, uh, I guess you're going to have to go API then, are you? I don't know. I, 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 I'm no help. No, I don't know. I've never hit a limit there. I mean, fuck, you know, how big's the site? I've... Hmm. Okay, we're coming up. I don't know when, when that, that has happened before in, in uh, about 11 years of uh, doing these every week. Um, I think it's the first time for a long time, at least, not in living memory. Um, Juan Delisay Jr. asked a question that's titled Discovered But Not Indexed. He said, I have a lot of discovered but not indexed pages on my site. I compared them with the index ones and I couldn't pinpoint why they are not indexed. Uh, is it common for over half of a site? to not be indexed? Yeah, so this, my first question is how new is the site? Um, I don't see this with any older sites that are like sort of over a year, um, coming up to two years old. But newer sites that I've started with, like literally from day one that are kind of less than a year old, although they have a good load of content, indexing is super freaking slow um really really slow um you know and then search console and people if you ask they will want to make out it's about the quality of this that blah 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 uh i'm sorry i'm just not buying that um like we know also for a fact that um they had a fire in one of the their their, their, their data centers which completely balked up a lot of indexing um they admitted to that um so i think this is to do with how much they can store any any longer with and and they're just trying to keep up building more crap i honestly don't believe it's to do with quality um um i just think it's super slow um really slow um i do see odd little bouts of things moving um like i'm just checking now uh on this one yeah discovered that it was down to fifth it was 50 last week uh well at the beginning of the week and it's 47 today it's moving it's slow but it is moving like super slow um the other thing i think you want to maybe look at is that i mean there is no rhyme or reason like quite honestly and especially this quality bollocks because i hand on heart did for essentially i guess they would be like possibly doorway pages um but i yeah the, the four 
pretty much exactly the same, almost the same door web pages targeting three, like four different things. They were slightly different, but they were essentially door web pages. And in theory, that's the kind of shit that Google doesn't want. And that's the kind of shit that they index like pretty much bingo. Like, and it's the real in-depth stuff that will can sit there for weeks, months on end. Um, it's moving. It's really slow. Don't go for the, you know, as long as everything's fine on page. Um, and you can do that little test job where you test live URL, test it, and it'll tell you, yeah, it's 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 all good. Um, yeah, it, but it's super slow. Like, but I had three come out of that come out of that block in the last week. Um, so you know, yeah, I don't get it. Um, in fact, I'm just going through it no yeah no it's yeah it's just super slow man yeah. thank you Jim. any from you Matt, yeah i think it i think that's the important thing looking at the trend um so you know if the number of index pages is going up and not index pages going down that's you know you're on the right track <laughs> the problem is that it's going to take a while as Tim said and um, I've had a quite a sort of bump um, in the number of indexed and correspond correspondingly um, drop in the not indexed when there was a burst of activity in terms of crawling you know which lasted about 10 12 days and then the Google bot calmed down and then it's been a sort of slow progress if you like um, so I don't think there's much you can do about it, to be honest. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, Massa. But also, before we move on, I just noticed Richard Hearn uh, in the Community Answers uh, from the SEO Cushions community on Facebook. Um, Richard Hearn, uh, uh, generally, yeah, you can take uh, what Richard writes uh, to the bank. Um, okay, let's move on to uh, the next from pim sandra um P uh, pim well, I, I don't know how this got in um she said i want to rank keywords without creating more content uh, pim said hello everyone i'm working on a website that focuses on business to business customers we would like to rank keywords without creating more content since we don't have a budget uh, to hire a uh, content writer specific to that language. Can we create a page with the focus keywords and 301 redirects to public product pages? Will it hurt SEO or make the website get a lower ranking in a longer term? So you want to create a URL just with a keyword in it. Nothing on that URL. And then 404 it and then 301 redirect that URL. Nah. Yeah, something doesn't add up. And there's um, motion about specific to that language. So, you know, it's, I suppose the business is trying to expand into another market, perhaps. But it just doesn't seem right or sound right. Yeah. and then yeah. the other thing is like you know you say about like focus keywords like you should already have those keywords within your copy like within your site exactly and it should have... already be there yeah because those are your products or your services or whatever the you know whatever the I guess you're B2B. So the, the service you are technically trying to sell or provide to uh, a, another business. So it should already be there in the page. Just work on site. Yeah. And if you need to translate and localize that content to another language locale, then you need to pay for that. 
mean, it's it's a business decision. You know, you, you can't just say, oh, I don't have the budget, so I'm not going to do this. So I'm trying to do something that doesn't really work out. You have to make a business plan and say, okay, this is how much I'm going to invest with this much return in prospect. Yeah, and like to me, it totally sounds like this, this business is trying to scatter gun. Like we're not doing so well in our actual primary language. Um, hey, how? let's see if we can tap into some less competitive language market. Um, but if you like, if you can't afford to translate, how are you even going to sell that product to that language market? Like, come on, just, yeah. No. Prioritize. Get your own language market sorted. Get that done. And then as and when budget allows, you can start slowly translating pages if you want to increase into other markets. But this just seems like scattergun. I've got no budget. <laughs> Let's try some bullshit. Yeah. And uh, the, the words are echoed by Perry Bernard and Richard Hearn uh, in the uh, community uh, answers as well. All right. Are we right to move on to the next? Okay. Here we are. This one from Rajesh Mago. Um, he said, why is the group name Dumb SEO Christians? Um, he said, this group is mostly great uh, questions of search engine optimization and related topics. He's a bright bloke, this fella, Tim. Um, so he said, why is the name Dumb, Intelligent or Stupid, Search Engine Optimization Questions? No questions asked after doing self-research and honest understanding, but wanting more information that is not available elsewhere and seeking expert practical advice uh, is stupid. So the group name looks a little strange to me, only name-wise that it doesn't word dumb stops uh, people from posting their questions. I hope that uh, what it means is that uh, people anybody um, can post any question that whether it's whether they assume it's dumb or not, just chuck it in. Yeah, and I, I uh, that that's the answer. Uh, um, and uh, look, to, to to be quite honest, um, uh, Rajesh, um, I registered uh, the, the 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 domain dumb SEO questions. Um, and uh, uh, so uh, I'll tell you my motivation uh, at the time uh, and, of course, still today, um, the um, 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 keyword space uh, was um, pretty well spammed and really dumb uh, SEO questions was the only combination that had, a, had an interesting ring to it. Um, and, that, and that's why I did it. Um, and um, yeah, I, I think it, 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 it's, it's served us well. Um, I, I see no reason to change it. Anyway, there we are. Let's go to number seven on our run list. Uh, Heg Jacobson has a question about appearance in search results. That's what we're here for. Hi all, I have a question about appearance in search results. When I Google my own keywords slash articles, often the meta description that shows on Google is not the one I wrote on my post. I have written a meta description, nor the first few sentences of my article. Why is this? Is it auto-generated? Um, what can I do to fix this? Thanks. So based upon what you, you know the keywords you're searching google if they feel that the meta description is your meta description is not going to convert based upon the keywords that were searched they try and do that for you so the basically the algorithm it does not feel that the meta description you provided is the same you'll probably do 
do a combination of the keywords, right? And you'll probably find in certain situations, they won't have changed the description. And then for certain combinations, they will, because they feel that that is better suited to the query. Um, not really. This like I, I don't I don't bother about it. Like if 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 that thing for a particular query is appearing, position one to five, and they feel they need to change the description, and I'm still getting click throughs. Uh, crack on if you if if you're going to do something slightly better. I'm I'm happy. Just crack on with it. Um, yeah, it's like. Why obsess over that? Thank you, Tim. It might be an interesting indication as to what people are actually looking for. So, you know, you may think that you have something there that is useful and good, but it may not be the actual queries that people are asking with that particular keyword. So it might be interesting to see if you can incorporate what's been generated into what you write on that page. OK. We right to move on? Yeah, I think so. Thanks, man. All right. Uh, Yuri Driesen asked the question, is there anything I can do to get rid of all of these links? So I've got a question about some foundation brackets, profile, press release, PDF, web two, et cetera, links, right in brackets, uh, links I bought off legit. Um, it was meant to be 100 links from 100 sites, but now I have several directories with 10 to 100 links from each domain. Is there anything I can do to get rid of all of these links? I'm really wishing I didn't buy these now. Um, I didn't definitely, I've definitely learned my lesson and I'm not buying links from marketplaces again after this. And yes, I, I do understand why these links don't offer much value. I was only after diversity. Just as Michael Martinez said, disavow them. Yeah. And this is, I think, the only occasion where you can say it makes sense, total sense to disavow them because you've created them. Yeah, um, before we move on, I must uh, um, thank Michael Martinez for the fabulous um, uh, and, and just incessant um, just solid um, support of, of our group on Facebook and um, practically single-handedly, Michael. I don't wish to insult the people that are also giving answers. Uh, that was probably a, a little bit um, um, over-enthusiastic. Um, but M Michael certainly does an exceptional job. You'd have to agree, Mr. Taki? Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's a stalwart in the yeah. community. All right. Um, yes, and, and um, that uh, Yuri got the right answer. Disavow the domains, and they'll all go away. Okay, let's go forward. And El Bikito asked the question. It's titled "Internal Linking Query." So I was just going to start implementing clusters for that topical authority boost. Uh, so, you know, redirect chains are bad. Um, and then targeting same to similar keywords uh, contributes to keyword cannibalization, which is a, a lovely term, um, but it means nothing. Um, he said, I wanted to know if there is anything similar to that um for uh, internal links um as in if i create an internal link loops i'm gonna do like already um would that be 
ran for my search engine optimization efforts. Bottom line, the nose of internal linking. Keep it simple, stupid. That's that's the way I, I always thought it was. Exactly. Um, it's overthinking again. You know, trying to strategize on something that is of um, marginal importance. What you have to do is, where are you taking your visitors? What is the flow? Why, where are you trying to guide the visitors to your site? And for what purpose? Think in those terms rather than thinking, oh, if I do this type of linking, it's not going to be so good or it's going to work out, it's going to be beneficial or not beneficial. Again, it's um, being really um, bogged down with the sort of needless details. What you need to do is to get the bigger picture right. Okay, right, moving right along, let's go to Shana Green. Um, and Shana is, I am looking to practice search engine optimization. Um, can someone take me as a pupil or intern? Um, pardon for my English is not my first language. Um, and I'm just looking, I see um, Michael Martin has, has given um, Shana good advice. So I, I, I think, um, what do you guys think? Is it better? I mean, there's plenty of people who will um, um, take advantage of, of, of Shana. Um, but if, um, you know, if Shana, uh, um, learns the business, if, if you like, yeah, then she, she or he uh, can deal from a position of strength. Yeah, if, like if, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, unfortunately, people will they'll take advantage of that and use her to do menial tasks and stuff, which I suppose in one sense is not a bad thing. But you know the best thing the best thing you can do is to create your own little site um start reading stuff about seo uh like i don't know if you're working full time but create your own site and start playing around with it and break it <laughs> you know i mean uh, see how far you can take things see what's going to work what's not going to work what you know um there's no like SEO there isn't just there isn't like an exact manual um, things that I do on page on site with content is a learned process um, you know and you kind of know what works and then you write it out with something else but then you hit another site which is in the medical field and like what that seems to be doing weird things and then you dig around and you read some other stuff and you're like mm, okay i get an idea of this and then you try something out with that and you know it's not an exact precise sort of field and i think you need to develop a, f a feel for it um so I, I think if you set yourself up just a basic little site uh with something that interests you and then start playing around and start you know see what works getting to rank um you know ultimately um that's the end game thank you tim as always thank you All right, this is question 11. I think it's our last one. Um, is is there anyone here who does search engine, wise, search engine optimization without tools? Um, Oliver said, hey, I am a newbie to SEO and curious about something. Is there anyone here who does SEO without tools, Ahrefs and uh, 
Surfer SEO pain plans. Surfer SEO, that sounds a bit sus. I'm not familiar with them. Might be. Anyway, the price of these tools is way too high. I can't afford Is anyone here getting results without paying for tools. Michael Martin has said that tools can be a boon or a crutch. Um, many people needlessly crawl websites looking for things they can easily find just by examining the source code of a few sample pages. Yeah, totally. I mean, we've been doing this long enough before tools existed. Um, tools just put things into nice, easy places for you to look at. Um, but you can do everything that those tools do essentially from your analytics and your um search console um that tell you what's broken where's it's broken you still have to manually go through pages like you you know if you if you had a client or i'm guessing maybe this is your own site but even if it's a client like essentially I would be going through every single page and I'd be looking at each individual page. That page may not be flagged up by some tool saying, oh, you, I don't know, you've got too little on this page. You know, every page is looked at in a sense if if, if, if I was working on, on a site um, just because the tool never chucked it up saying, oh, you've missing a keyword opportunity on this page. Like, I don't need that. Um, I can find all my 404s um, in Search Console. And then I can use Wayback Machine to check out what was previously on that page and why was that deleted? Um, you know, what was it doing? Um, why was it deleted? Do I need to resurrect that and maybe repurpose it? Or, you know, you, you can do pretty much everything you want to do from all manners of things without a tool um tools just put things into nice little things for you it gives you an update in the morning that oh shit, something's gone wrong but if you're just working on one site you can do that yourself you know um you don't necessarily need the the tools and in fact i probably i probably log in just as much to search console than to the actual tools um, when when I want to see what's going on. Um, tools are handy because it just puts you into it, it just puts it into one space. But if you know what you want to be doing and what you want to be looking at, the tools are all there for you. So true, Tim. So true. Okay, um, before we go, this is uh, thank you for watching time when I click this button. Um, and before we go, though, I, I do want to thank, uh, um, firstly, you, Tim, um, Masataki, um, the, 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 um, you know, the fact that every week uh, you, you turn up, I mean, after a, a hiatus of, um, uh, well, two weeks uh, to be able to um, contact you and uh, um, have you uh, uh, front up um, is um, you know, just so, I'm just so grateful. Anyway, let's um, um, move on and we'll be back at the same time next week uh, to do this uh, all again, and I thank the people like uh, uh, Michael M M Martinez very much so uh, because of my, Michael Martinez, um, and we have such a, a great um, resource. All right, uh, let's um, okay. Don't know how to turn it off now, Tim. There we are.